La Liberazione di Ruggiero, composed by Francesca Caccini, libretto by Ferdinando Saracinelli. Premier February 3rd, 1625, via di Paggio Imperio, Florence, Italy. A comic opera in four scenes. This opera is not only the earliest surviving operatic work by a female composer, but was composed within the first five years of Italy's first published opera. La Liberazione di Ruggiero transports us to the birthplace of the operatic tradition and demonstrates that Caccini's success derived from and was indebted to the thriving musical culture of Florence, Italy during the High Renaissance. During this presentation, we will examine the context and inception of this opera through the following slides, which will outline Caccini's life and times, as well as the key characteristics of her compositional choices in light of traditional musical conventions. Before we discuss the context of Francesca Caccini's work, we will include musical examples demonstrating the following harmonic and compositional features. Concerti della Don, Recorder Ritornello, Presence of Recorder Trio in Orchestra, and contrasting tonal variants in the service of characterization. These features and conventions appear frequently throughout Caccini's composition and will be discussed in greater detail during the remaining slides.
La liberazione di Ruggiero dall'isola d'Alcina, The Liberation of Ruggiero from the Island of Alcina, premiered on February 3rd, 1625 in Florence, Italy. It is a comic opera composed by Francesca Caccini using a libretto by Ferdinando Saracinelli, for whom it was his most important work. Usually shortened to La Liberazione di Ruggiero, or simply Ruggiero, the opera was commissioned by Caccini's employer, Regent Archduchess Maria Maddalena of Austria. The premiere was given in honor of Prince Władysław of Poland, who visited Florence, Italy during Carnival 1625. Francesca Caccini was the oldest daughter of Giulio Caccini, who was a composer and influential voice in Italy's transition period, spanning the Renaissance and the Baroque. It was thanks to her family status as court musicians that she joined the Italian Medici court in 1607 as a composer, teacher, and singer. She served until 1627, becoming the highest paid Medici court musician of the 1620s period. Caccini accepted the commission for La Liberazione from Regent Archduchess Maria Maddalena of Austria, who was then married to Cosimo II, member of the powerful Florentine Medici family. In 1607, Francesca Caccini married a court singer, and their only daughter was born in 1622, three years before Ruggiero's premiere. La Liberazione di Ruggiero follows stile moderno structure, which is a term for compositions in the tradition of Claudio Monteverdi. Influence from Jacopo Perry, an Italian composer of the Baroque Renaissance transitional period, is also present. While Caccini's use of aria and recitative are fairly traditional, trios are here more properly termed canzonettas light madrigal-type compositions for three female voices, which derive heavily from the popular Concerto della Don tradition made famous at the court of Ferrara, Italy, a style long and successfully emulated by Caccini. A recorder trio embedded within the otherwise traditional orchestra lends intimacy and playfulness to the mythical plot line, which centers around three characters, a good sorceress, Melissa, an evil sorceress, Alcina, and a male protagonist, the entrapped knight Ruggiero. Operatic convention of the period typically includes castrati and is defined by comedic reliance on basso buffa, both conventions notably ignored by Caccini, who casts six soprano voices, two trios, in the highest register and calls for only one bass voice in Ruggiero's score. Intrigue takes the form of harmonic, melodic, and orchestration variants, which serve as Caccini's commentary on the plot as it unfolds, which will be dealt with in greater detail as we discuss gender representation during the following slide. Caccini's compositional and harmonic choices lead into examination of gender representation and the depiction of contrasting modes of female agency in this early Italian opera. While crafting a cohesive composition, Caccini explores the variety and implications of female agency in the following ways. Avoiding chromaticism or dissonance, Caccini characterizes negative or destructive agency by intricate tonal excursions and variation on the opening recitatives, which by contrast demonstrate positive and virtuous agency or power. Within a general scheme that assigns flat keys to female characters and sharp keys to male characters, Caccini delineates the slightly androgynous, virtuous Melissa from the sensually provocative Alcina via tonal restatements, as mentioned above. 